What's good everybody, it's your boy Glowhine Beast here. And today I'm about to be doing a breakdown of Lil Uzi Vert's Grow Up. If y'all don't know by now, I produced that song. It's on his SoundCloud. I also produced him and Gucci Mane's to get a bag. I did a track on Famous Dex's album. Um, out the Window by Famous Dex. Checking You Out by, a lot of, a lot of stuff. I'm gonna be breaking down this Grow Up. Um, it's long overdue. I think I might have did it before, like on my channel. But like the production of the video probably wasn't so great. So without further ado, let's roll the intro. Now, you know, just to show y'all how long ago this beat was made, I'm using my old laptop. And just look at how long FL takes to load on this old ass laptop. Taking forever. And at least this ain't worse than my old Windows XP computer, but you know, I can't, I can't, I can't even see myself using this back then. It's crazy. All right, so now that the project has finally loaded, we about to get into the breakdown. I'm just gonna break down pattern by pattern how I put this together. Um, before I get into it, I want to say that a lot of people think that this song or this beat was a sample. It wasn't. This is all original. I know he had the Pokemon cards, and all. everybody said it was Final Fantasy Pokemon. No, completely original. No sample. None of that. Um, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna put it all together. So the first pattern we got here is the jazz guitar from Contact 5. I, this is just the free version of Contact, and um, I use the factory preset. So you can really make you can make you can make some good stuff with with nothing, man. I'm telling y'all, this computer old. Oh, everything on here is cracked. You know, I buy my plugins now, but <laughs> I was going crazy back then. So here go the jazz guitar right here. We just finna press play. I'm getting some X vibes from that. This is before X was really huge like that. I didn't even know who he was back then, but I made this beat in like what? The 21st of September 2016. So yeah, like, yeah, nah. This this gave me some good vibes. Uh the next preset or a pattern or whatever was the deep pad from the deep C pad from Nexus. Good vibes, good vibes, good vibes. The next one is uh, key strings. I think this next is too. Yep, destroy the piano strings. Okay, cool. I used to name all my um, channel slots. I don't do that no more. I just keep them how they are. Cool, cool. The next one is the guitar lead from um, Nexus. This is the Undertaker 2 preset. I love this preset, this one dope. The next one was the flute vibrato, or vibrato, excuse me, from Orchestral, the Orchestral VST. I use this all the time. I ain't gonna lie, this VST is old as hell, but I use it all the time, mainly because, really just for the flute and sometimes the violin, but this one of them old VSTs that every time you open a project, it reset the preset back to the default. But this was the default, so it don't matter. Um, and y'all know how this sound, but I'm gonna play it anyway. That's like the signature. That's the signature of this song right here. Um, next up is the kick. I used to mix my kicks so loud. Like they used to peak so hard. This was, I don't know what kick this was, but it was just insane. Yeah, 
Yeah, that's 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 crazy. Um, it's like you getting punched in the face. Uh, next up is the 808. Little 808. Um, I use this 808 a lot. This is the 808 10 from the Young Kiko kit. I think. I think that's what it is. Or maybe not. It's 808 everywhere now. It's on every song now. Next up is some clap. I think the, I think all these from the Young Kiko kit. This is a clap. Hopefully it don't be wrong because sometimes what it what it'll do FL if you haven't opened a project in so long it'll replace certain stuff. So let's see if this is the right clap. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. That's the right clap. Next up, snare. I, I renamed everything. Snare one, snare two, hi hat one. So it's not really no like specific names. Yeah, and then snare two. That's just the this this the Zaytoven snare right here. That's all that is. Then I have one. After that is a pattern called hi hat two. Then after that is this generic chant that everybody uses, the shoddy red chant. Funny thing about this beat is I actually rapped on it first, like in September before um, I sent it out to anybody. And another funny thing is actually Soldier Boy, Lil B, and Chapo had this beat first. So, so you take all them elements, combine them together, and you should get this. <laughs> Thank you.